y'all, it's Paige Leanne. So I'm here today with y'all showing y'all this DIY deep conditioner number three, which is an avocado hair mask. So these are all the ingredients that I will be using and the measurements. Avocado has a lot of great benefits. It has protein, vitamin A, E, and biotin. It helps to moisturize dry hair, promote healthy hair growth, strong, healthy hair. Um, it has a lot of great benefits, soft hair. Um, as well, we know that egg is good for protein. And I know y'all have heard me talk about Jamaican black castor oil in a couple of my videos in the past and olive oil. They're definitely great for your hair. These are two oils that you definitely have to try if you haven't tried for your hair to see if your hair likes it. You never know. It may just like it. So all I'm doing is showing you that I'm going to apply this to my hair. It is a little thick, so if you prefer it to be a little bit more looser, just add some water, but I didn't really care. Hey y'all, so as usual, I have my hair sectioned off into four sections, and I'm just gonna start with my back section back here. And it's looking really, really thick. So I think this is going to turn out more of a deep condition mask than just a deep condition. It's, I could have probably added some water to it, but I'm not really wanting it to be diluted. I want to get all the benefits from it. So I know in other words, this is going to probably be fun rinsing it out because it is much thicker than the banana mixture in my last DIY that I did that I will put both of my other DIY deep conditions in um, the description box so y'all can go check those out as well. And I just told y'all I'm just tired of keep buying deep condition deep conditioners when you can just go to the store and literally like make your own. It doesn't even take that long to mix up one. Like, literally, y'all, I did that under 10 minutes, probably about five minutes if I wasn't recording. So, it doesn't take long at all. So, so far, this is um, seeming pretty thick. I'm not noticing any major results yet, but... Um, going to leave this in for about 20 minutes so not that long and the reason why I'm only aiming for 20 minutes versus I was aiming for 30 minutes to an hour with the other ones is because this one does have egg in it and that does have protein I'm sure the avocado has protein in it as well so I'm not trying to overdo it with the protein but this is definitely a great protein treatment, especially if your hair is damaged or if you just feel your hair needs like a good protein treatment. so I am finished up this has to indeed be the messiest hair remedy that I have tried and I've tried a lot of them y'all but this has got to be my phone has avocado DOI deep condition whatever the heck you want to call it all over it my counter the door when I was just leaving out to get my cap so yes I definitely want to let y'all know like prepare yourself to have to clean up not big of a mess it can easily be wiped up but just prepare yourself it is going to be messy and that is pretty much it i will leave this on my head for 20 minutes 20 minutes y'all 
I promise this time it's gonna be 20 minutes. I always say a certain time I end up watching Lifetime movies or something and it'd be like two, three hours to win by and I'll be back at y'all. So 20 minutes, seriously. Okay y'all, so this is my hair after rinsing out the avocado, DIY avocado deep conditioning mask. I know that's like the longest name, but yes, my hair has so much definition, volume, it's super soft, soft detangled, everything, like seriously. Um, I took down my twist so y'all could just see like what I'm seeing right now. I mean, look at that. I haven't even checked out the back myself, but I know like just from looking at what I can see so far, like everything is so popping. So I would definitely say between this one and my deep conditioning number one would be my favorite too. Definitely this one I think is winning as number one. Um, as y'all know, number two wasn't my favorite because of one ingredient that was in there that I've had trouble with before. So I just won't be using that ingredients. So I will put those in description box so y'all can go check out these videos I'm talking about if you haven't. So yeah, I mean, I'm feeling it. I'm going to twist my hair up and I'm trying something new. I ran out of my Cantu leave-in conditioner, but I did buy a new one. Just in case if this product doesn't work out, I can always fall back on my Cantu. When, you know, everything push comes shove, I know Cantu is going to pull through. So, I have here the Olive Miracle by American Pride leave-in conditioner. Um, it says anti-breakage formula, da um, daily treatment, hair strengthener. So it says a lot of good stuff about it. And it says that you can just use it as a daily treatment, work it into your hair from your roots to your ends, leave in, do not rinse out, style as usual. So um, after shampooing your hair, relaxing, perming, curling, or coloring, towel dry, comb through, do not rinse out, style as usual. The only thing I won't be doing is combing through my hair because as y'all know, I am anti-combs. I don't use combs except for one part of my hair. So the only time y'all see me is with this if I'm making a part or if I'm using my rat tail comb to make a part. That's it. I don't use combs anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and section my hair back off into four sections and get it well and twisted up. I won't be doing a video of this because I got so many videos on my channel showing me doing my four twists, my lock method, my LCO method, whatever you want to call it. Making sure that moisture stays locked into your hair is the main thing. So I will see y'all in the next video. Definitely go check out those other videos if you haven't already. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Definitely subscribe. There's plenty more to come on my channel. I'm going to keep these DIYs coming because I'm actually enjoying how most of them are making my hair feel and finding out what is good for my hair. You have to try stuff to find out what is good for your hair and what's not good for your hair. You can't say that your hair doesn't like anything or isn't going to floor from it or just benefit from it until you do try it avocado is on the top of my list now y'all so yes me and avocado are like best friends right now because i can definitely say it did good to my hair so i'll see y'all in the next one bye